Hello everyone. Today we shall solve example 1 of chapter 4 linear equations in two variables. Write each of the following equations in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0 and indicate the values of a, b and c in each case. Now this is a linear equation in two variables x and y. And we need to write all these examples, that is four examples are given in this form and then write what is A, what is B and what is C. The first one is 2x plus 3y is equal to 4.37. So first we need to get it in this form. So what we will do? 2x plus 3y get 4.37 on the left hand side. So sign will change, that will be minus 4.37. 3, 7 equals to 0. Now if you compare this is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So a is 2, b is 3 and c is minus 4.37. Whenever there is a minus sign, you need to include that because this is plus C. So that means this is plus minus 4.37. Okay. Now the next one. X minus 4 is equal to square root of 3Y. So X, get this term to the left hand side. Minus root 3Y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, this is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. This is just for comparison I am writing. You don't need to write like this. Just to compare. So, a is nothing is here with x. That means that's 1. We can write this as 1 into x. That is x. So, a is 1. b is minus square root of 3. And C is minus 4. Third one, 4 is equal to 5x minus 3y. So there are two ways you can do this. Either you can get 4 to this side or you can get these two terms to the left hand side. So I will take 4 to the other side. So that will be 5x minus 3y and minus 4. Because this is positive 4. So when it moves to the other side it becomes minus 4 equals to 0. Now compare ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So a is 5, b is minus 3, c is minus 4. If I would have done it the other way, that means get these two terms to this side, then this would be minus 5x plus 3y plus 4 equals to 0. So here in this case a is minus 5, b is 3 and c is 4. So both the solutions are correct. This one as well as this one. Depends how you do it. And now the last one. Two x is equal to y. So, 2x get y to this side minus y and there is no other term. So, we will take that as 0. The constant term we will take it as 0 because we need to write it in the form of ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So, here this is equal to 0. Now, just compare. a is equal to 2. b is equal to minus and nothing is there just y. That means 1. And C is equal to 0. So this is the answer for the last one. Hope the concept is clear to you. See you all in the next video.